An entire apartment building went up in flames this afternoon in a three alarm fire. All eight units near Astor and Augusta were destroyed and now the roughly 25 people who live there have to find a new place to call home. KXY 4's Allie Norton working for you tonight. She joins us in the studio live and Allie, some of those residents thanking a passerby for getting them out safely. And Nadine, it sounds like it just started with one person who was driving by. That person saw smoke and took action and thankfully everyone in that apartment complex is safe tonight. He didn't even smell the smoke, but the pounding on his door was enough for Isaac Aklamanu to believe he was in danger. He knocked on the door saying, fire, fire, get out, get out, get out. Several other residents have similar stories. Jared Stone had no idea that his complex was on fire until someone came knocking. I heard a banging on the doors and the dog got up, so I went and looked outside and there was a gentleman outside telling everybody to get out that there was a fire. Like a trickle-down effect, Stone and Aklamanu followed suit going apartment to apartment, making sure neighbors got out. Well, I just busted into his house and they were all sleeping and I had to get him, in, you know, get him awake and get him out. Many residents didn't have a lot of time to leave. I didn't have time to grab anything or, um, I just, I didn't think, I just ran out. And while the Red Cross is helping out with a place to stay tonight, some, like Schilling, aren't sure what the long term holds. Oh, my cat is probably gone and A place to stay, probably, or <laughs> I don't know. There's just all so much stuff going on in my head right now. But the fire department says that all occupants are safe. Many have that unidentified passerby to thank. When I talked to him, he said he was. He saw the fire. He was driving on the street. Saw the fire. Stopped his car, and they started knocking on people's door to get out. And the fire department believes that the fire started on the second story, but the cause is under investigation. Reporting in the studio tonight, Amalie Norton, KXL Y4 News.